All right, YouTube. Today we're gonna play some Esper Control um, in Standard. I took this deck list from a 5-0 list. And I just changed two cards. I cut a Sinister Sabotage and an Insight for two Notion Rains. I just kind of want to make the deck a little less clunky. But besides that, it's just peeled from a 5-0 list. So we're gonna give this a whirl and jump into it. I've been trying to get a Teferi deck to work for a little while, and I have been struggling. It might just be that Teferi is just not really where you want to be at the moment, and there are other options. Yeah, playing standard. How are you doing, Rafi? It's kind of Demir. So basic. How are you all? How are you two doing tonight? <coughs> the stream is over again. Glad you guys are so positive. You guys are just having such a good time coming to this stream and being so positive. We are watching together. Nice. All right. We're going to mulligan this. Keep this, put a land on top. We planned this evening. <laughs> nice. All right, so we're playing against Mono Red to start, which is a good a good test. Oh, there's Boros, not Mono Red, but it's still an aggro deck. This notion rain's looking real painful. We really need something to impact the board next turn. Just like notion raining on three isn't really going to be good enough. Yield through this turn. To up your view count. Well, I appreciate it. There's two viewers. It must be both of you guys. We need something to impact the board here. Just something to do. That was not it. I think I don't really think I want to get anywhere playing the Evolving Wilds. So I think we're just going to Notion Rain. Look for just a little bit more. Some more things to do. Put into your graveyard. Do it, draw cards. I probably want this. Like this is better than a random draw, even though it's kind of clunky. Like we can go interact to fairy. I can either tuck something or tick up and draw a card. But at least like the Vraska's contempt kind of blanks an attack. I guess it doesn't really blank an attack. Hopefully there's just no play here. That would be sick. No, they had a play. Yield through this turn. <clears throat> the fact that this Scourge Proc Prospector can sack a goblin is actually kind of a problem. Because I can't actually gain life because of it. So I'm going to take damage. Yeah, the contempt's going to the proc the prospector is gonna like loot me out here. <clears throat> yeah, he just gains life or doesn't gain denies me the life, which is not good. So I kind of have to hope that there's not another play here. Oh, well, they probably be my opponent's going to gain a lot of life. I kind of want just to fairy tuck this skirt Proc Defector so that I can at least gain two life, deal with this. But then you can just sack it and deal two damage to... Oh, it's only a creature, but... I'm kind of all right if my opponent just, like, takes their turn off 
attacking this Teferi, as, as sad as this is, this is the position we are in. <clears throat> no browbeat is nice. This one at Teferi, this one at me. <clears throat> I have another prospector. Whoa, that was a good one. That was a good one. <clears throat> you guys are awfully distracting. Radiant Destiny, okay. So they're going to play the, the Prospector cost one, syncopate for one, two, three, four, syncopate for three. So I actually can't insight unless I let the Prospector resolve, which kind of sounds pretty mopey. So I'm just going to insight anyways and counter the second spell. Yeah, we're going to let this go. And then draw some cards. I guess I could have. No, I should have done that response. Could have hit an Essence Scatter. That was a mistake. Just wasn't thinking. It's probably just like a bunch of things that cost four mana. Oh, I want to do that in the upkeep so that they couldn't sack it. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> four Siege King Commander. That would not be good. Conclave Tribunal. Probably just counter this. And then if my opponent wants, because like I'm gonna need to like draw my way out of this. They still have three cards. We have some duds. So if my opponent wants to put me to two, then that's all right. If they want to attack to fairy, that's okay as well. Oh, they can pay with this to convoke. I think at least. Can you pay through the can pay with convoke? I know there are some things you can pay with if it, you're like. Casting spells. Oh shoot, I messed that up too. This thing can sack it. Oh. I still messed it up anyways. Just not even thinking. Wasn't good. Wasn't my proudest moment. I think we're like. Now that we drew this chromium, we still might have a chance to win. No wonder your dog doesn't do stuff. You guys are so mean. Enters the battlefield, creating 1-1 one, one goblin creature token. Okay. I'm just going to contempt this thing, I think. We're just going to be mana efficient. Gain some life. He's doing better. We took him to the vet. Got some anti-inflammatory. I'm just going to eat this thing. I don't know how... How, like... Oh, she's not dead. Or how I'm not dead here. If he tries to kill this, we can give it hexproof in the moment of craving this. 
response deals five damage to target attacking or blocking creature. So they have another one of these and I lose my chromium, but at least I get rid of this. They're not adding to the board and I have syncope. I'm going to try to keep this. Well, I could just give it hexproof, ditch this, and then hit this afterwards. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So let's give this hexproof, make it a 1 1. So the next one, and if they want to, so the next one's not going to resolve. And now let's just kill this. No, because I didn't want to have another one, Rafi. I guess I could have, but like if he had another one. So why I did that was it's already blocked. So if he has another, like if I give it hexproof, or if I go to um, moment of craving it, it just dies. And it dies to the block. That's what I was worried about. Unless I missed it there, but like doing it that way made it so that he didn't that didn't die to the block, right? Unless I'm crazy, which I could I could be. I'm a little tired. <clears throat> I want to keep all these cards. So I'm probably not going to flash back the insight. Volleyman and enters the battlefield deals damage equal to the number of goblins you control. Nathan, we're going to Virginia. Volleyman and enters deals damage. I think we just let this resolve and then moment of craving, or then just cast down it. I guess we can hit it with the trigger on so that we don't take any damage. Because I'm worried about Siege Gang Commander. Like, we can't let that resolve. I've tried to show me up before. Another one of these. This Radiant Destiny is kind of annoying with how it just shuts off. I guess we can flash back now. Because what would flashing back now do us? Now oh, it's just we have plenty of mana, but let's not like jumpstart it. All right, we hit another counter spell, which is good. The fate of the apartment was described as American carnage. It was not good. We actually win this game. Wow. All right. So let's bring in everything that gains life or kills creatures. Um, Chromium is probably slow. Searches are probably slow. Syncopate's not great on the draw. And then we probably can just cut like. Disdainful Stroke hits Siege Gang Commander and it hits Conclave Tribunal and it hits the other goblin. I probably want this ritual set as well. I could just cut some card draw and just be like removal, a couple counter spells and Teferi. I just named like at least there's at least ten or there's at least ten targets in their deck of hits. I would assume. <clears throat> I think I want these on the play over Disdainful Stroke. Stupid guess. I don't know. I always like boarding out my Escantas against Aggro decks. I get rid of just the cheap, the clunky counter spells. 
and then bring in like one more of these. Because these are pretty clunky on the draw against like a deck that's that low to the ground. Yeah, let's try this. That's what like all the other sideboard things that I see, Rafi, say. You're just, you're crazy. You run into some Twitch chats and you get all angry. I'll keep this. All right, we're going to kill that thing ASAP. We're going to lead off with this, though, because it's going to make sure everything else comes into play untapped. We just want to, like, clear the board and land this, land this Teferi. And then we have an answer to whatever they do afterwards to kill the Teferi with this invoke. So I think because I hit this Daneful Stroke, I'm going to let this go. I'm not going to kill this now. If they want to sacrifice a bunch of goblins to gain life or to set their mana up, then they can do that. Because we're going to be able to counter what they sack. We can like kill this in combat or something if we want to, or at the end of the turn. Okay, so at the beginning of combat on your turn, we're going to get rid of this because it's going to, I don't want it to get out of control. It just makes a 1 1, but they've already used a bunch of their mana and they can't do as much with it, so. Alright, that was both invokes. This ritual set's gonna be pretty nice. We need to hit a land drop. Okay. Nothing more. So as long as we don't get I guess they can't even really do that much off of one land next turn. It's like a risk factor. Alright, I am going to take four. My gosh, that does not come into play untapped. <sighs> Sorry, it would have cost me two life to do, which is probably still worth it, but I just like, was not thinking here with this. I don't know if I, it was worth shocking or not, but I should have at least I should have at least taken time to think about it. That's terrifying. Because they're going to get at least a point. <clears throat> it probably was because I could have disdainful strokes, a uh, high impact play from them. So I can tuck this, but I still don't have an answer. I think I'm just going to draw. This is. I think I'm just going to draw and hope to hit a removal spell on this thing. I've got, I have a lot of them. All right, we did. Because like doing the safe, like tucking it is what's safe to do, but like I'm not really sure that's winning us the game. Though like them just drawing a million cards here. Or getting free reign of the battlefield is not great either. 
just ignoring the hero. These invokes are not looking good. Now, do I take this? They have two cards. I think I just take this damage. Go to three. On an o then we're on an open board. I can like tuck this if I need to. Yeah, I'm just gonna take this. We're gonna have counter magic up next turn. Well, now I want to draw. Before I figure out what I want to do with this Teferi. <clears throat> Think about this. Now we have so much. We can discard these to our um, to our insights. Chain gang. All right. That's definitely happening. All right, we had a moment of craving. So we're going to end up moment of craving this chain whirler and then hoping to make it out of the turn. I guess we're going to go, we're only going to take one damage total from this. They discarded an artifact. Wanted that. Hitting this would have been sweet. But it did not work out. <clears throat> we're just going to fire this chemistry inside off. Like, I'm not going to keep up. We need to find things, and we're not going to keep up appearances. Ditch this. Okay. Look how great these are going to be now. I can blow up my own thing if I need to. Switch this and this. Yeah. We're in such a good spot. We do have the front half of something covered here. I think we're in a good enough spot. I, I, think, I think we're like ahead right now, but we're not like super ahead. Oh shoot, I tapped out of my white. Oh no. Just was not even thinking. Nope. We're not gonna get in trouble for it. Now we have a counter spell, so I'm not gonna um I'm not going to uh We have a counter spell, so I wasn't gonna tap out there. I'm not gonna flip this because we wanna be able to keep this just a hit just in case. All right, well, now we can insight, ditch one of these. We already made a land drop. All right, we're in a good spot now. It's good deck building. Yeah, I took it from a 5 out. So whoever did this did good, did a great job.
I think we're just going to leave this as Kanta right here. Because it says Kanta is going to, like, says, you know, fill up our, fix our draw step. And, um, and potentially gain four life if we need to. We just need to, like, not get too, not, not, ex not extend too much, I think. I think we're going to be fine. Yes. No. I can play another Teferi, but I don't think we're about that. We probably can get rid of this ritual set at this point. Probably just sitting on a million risk factors here. Or just sitting on a bunch of like a, a flurry of burn spells in which we don't have super covered. Especially if they don't get a creature in play. Overseer Morty, thank you very much. Rick's don't thank Mortys. I appreciate the subscription. There we can get the sweet Philly emotes. Uh, I think we're gonna put this in the graveyard. We've got plenty of these. We we have one removal spell, but we have. What am I looking for? I don't even know what I'm looking for. That's the problem. I guess I'm looking for Vona. So yeah, let's put this in the graveyard. Not flip this. Chemistry's insight is these. Make a land drop. We can just ditch these extra Teferis. Probably can ditch this land. All right. We can still keep up our counter spell. So let's. There's Vona. Okay. Yes. No. <coughs> hey, how's it going? I bet she's a tall Morty. Um, I'm not sure, Jack. I, I took it from a five O and um I just changed two cards. I, I cut I cut a counter spell and I cut a chemistry's insight for two notion rains. But if your if your boy Nathan five owed with it, then it's his deck list, more than likely. I just long for this card to be good, but it might you might have to wait until next season. Okay. Let that resolve. Counterspell that. Dude, I really hope they're not sitting on Bane Fires. If they do have, I mean, if they had Bane Fires, they would just be firing them off, right? I mean, these, I guess it's only for four. Clear this out of the way because they're just going to go block sack to make it so we don't gain life anyway. So we're not gaining any life on this regardless. They need one more to make it uncounterable. Yep, so they just shoot this. I don't have any more of those in there. 
We don't get any life, which is kind of sad. But we gain life here. This game, this should close it out. Between this and... I guess I need to make sure how many Teferis are left in my deck. I have one, two... I have one more Teferi. Um, nah, we're not even going to flip this. Like, cards isn't what we need to win here. We just have to make sure we don't get cheesed out and die. <clears throat> and we could, without having a counter spell to like a creature or something like that, the invoke smoking our, um, smoking our own surge is important. Yeah, there's the bane fire. Can't bounce this or anything. We don't have the counters. This actually costs five, so we can stroke this. <clears throat> Just underneath what they needed. I feel like my opponent got pretty pretty unfortunate here. Got a little unlucky during this match. Alright, what do we have coming? Cast down plus contempt. Alright, good way to start out. Yeah, so I'm gonna play in a PTQ, probably gonna play in the Moto PTQ this weekend. I wanna either play this deck. Um, I want to try this one here. Man, Moto's super laggy. My camera's not good either. Uh, try this one out, which is just like a blue, white, red control deck, or this like Abzan fine finality deck that 5 0 Oh no, Moto's losing their mind. Yeah, I'm not playing Mono Blue Tempest. What's going on, Moto? Let me just put this up here. Figure out what's going on with Moto. Oh yeah, I just gotta restart it. Oh, I. Oh, we're good now. Moto just tweaked out for a second. You're a scrub then, Mono Blues. Yeah, I'm just not about that deck. I think that deck is pretty, pretty poor. And really annoying. Come on. Then I want to try out this deck here, which was just like a. Fine finality, uh, wild growth walker explorer deck. Like, I'm assuming this like destroys the mono red decks here. Play that storm deck that SO played. Who's SO? Or just play the the token deck, which I haven't played very much, but I, I'm pretty decent. At I know how to play these kind of decks. I'm gonna grab some water while we're waiting. Or try this out. Are you talking about Saffron Olive? Oh god, now I gotta pay attention here. <clears throat> but yeah, those are what I want to play on Saturday. Oh my gosh, I've been playing uh playing basketball at lunch at work the last two days and oh my god am I sore like oh I'm just exhausted like being out of it and trying to jump back into it has not been easy 
Um, I think we're going to keep this because we're on the play. Like, this will help us catch up. Counter spells are better on the play. Like, this hand obviously needs some help, but I think it's hard to mulligan lands and spells when we're on the play. All right. Easy, Nathan. You and your, you and your, your words. So that's our finds our land for Teferi, which is important. I actually don't have any idea who's like advantaged in this mirror. I would assume my opponent probably has more counter magic than I do. Um, I have chromium, but like they also have sweepers. Wow, they also missed their third land. Ditch of chemistry's insight probably. Ditch is a Nova. We're going to leave that in our hand for as long as we can. Wow, my opponent is just like missing out here. You should be able to see the deck list on the stream decker there, Vend. Ditch is a Lyra. I mean, this is a dead card. We have two dead cards in our hand, so. We're not like even that far ahead. All right, well, that's a good one. Play this field. All right, opponent's starting to hit land drops, which is a bit nerve wracking. We have five draw spells, come on. <clears throat> I guess we do play 27 lands, but. Meandering River, okay. They probably have some Memorial to Geniuses, which are pretty good in this matchup. We don't have any of those. All right. Syncopate is a good card to, I guess, end a counter fight with. Three, four, five. God, I hope they go for a Teferi and then we untap and we hit a Teferi. Probably should have syncopated there. I know it wouldn't have mattered. Syncopate for one. Alright, come on. Give me two looks at a Teferi. Oh, this protects me from another Teferi. I guess just put it on top. You know, that was our time to, res to resolve a Teferi, but... Dawn of Hope. That's not good. That is not good at all. <clears throat> they're just going to make their own little army, and they're going to draw a million cards off of that thing. Yeah, I'm super dead. I'm just going to kill it, but, like, that's not a winning game here. Because the cast down doesn't do anything any other... I mean, doesn't do anything anyways. Memorial. Well, 
We hit like Teferi. Have it somehow resolve. Just like no way that this is going to work out. I guess. Play this to fairy. Tuck this, hit this. Yeah. So wait to see what they do. Sell the records in their graveyard. <clears throat> Could say that for search, but we we have like more immediate issues. <clears throat> we can chromium them still. Like, they've only got two more, three, probably three more um, board wipes. But, like, we got to find chromium pretty soon. This is a tough one to lose, especially if my opponent missed so many land drops in the beginning. We're just going to go to the next one. Like, I could sit here and, like Rafi was talking about, I could sit here and, like, try to hang, but this is just drawing. This is just providing so much advantage. Begin sideboarding. Okay. So we want Argles. We want this counter spells. We want the Reborn. The duresses and maybe some of these invokes. So let's just move these over here. Cards we definitely don't want. Moment of craving and cast down are not good. I want to keep in like maybe a couple ritual suits just in case we get just in case my opponent like. History Benelli is us. So it's by converted mana cost. They just don't want to get history out of the game. I could bring in Vona. That's just another way to like win the game, which can help mitigate history. So like cut these. Play these. That's a lot of fives. We do play a lot of lands. We have a lot of ways to draw. I think I'm going to try the Vona. Like, they might not have a lot of ways to deal with this at their sideboard. And its, its effect might be relevant. So we'll give it a whirl. Let me check out this Saffron Olive deck. Is this a standard deck? Ral, is it Viceroy? Op, Shock, Lightning Strike, Mission Breathing. I'm already off of it. Alchemy or Storm. You just burn them out. Like cast a bunch of spells and get them. All right, we got to hit lands, so but we're going to keep it. Be pretty liberal with this counter spell because it surveils. It's going to be sad if we don't have a third land drop. Just saying. After hitting like 42 in our last one.
you would have mulled. Good to know. Good to know. Fair riffraff. <clears throat> One, two, we get three looks at 25 lands. Dees. We still need to be able to cast a fairy, but we've got nine lands, ten lands. Oh, we have quite a few lands to do that, and this one has to go get an island. Nice. All right, they're not testing us yet. The old stable mana base. God, a chemistry's inside would be sweet right now. All right, we're not going to play our Teferi. I'm jealous of these Memorial to Geniuses, though. Wow, they missed their third land, their fourth land drop, too. Oh, they missed there, which is tough. So they still have Lyra in, which is good. All right, the inside's decent. It's going to let us, like, act on their end step. So here's to hoping they counter this, which they probably won't, but they might. And if they want to resolve their own, that's fine. They're tapped out. We're going to play Teferi. Oh, I guess they're not tapped out now. What do I want to discard? Probably just want to disinvoke the divine. To flash this back. Land drop, okay. One, two, one, two, three, no, there's no need to. I guess it was, well, no, because we still have two counter spells up regardless. Probably just discard Brass's Contempt at this point. We have plenty more of that kind of effect. I would like to keep all the rest of my cards. Though the Eldest Reborn might not be super great. Yeah, being able to like just put this chromium in at the end of their turn. Yeah, we're just gonna sit and hold here. I'm actually gonna ditch. I'm gonna ditch it to fairy. What a weird game. Like, we're both missing land drops. It's odd that they have Seal Away and Lyra in after Cyborg, but I guess they're worried about the Thief of Sanity. Or thief, Notion Thief, whatever card it is. All right. That's great. Because now we get to just, like, turn the heat on. They don't even have double white now, they do. This is the old end all be all. I think we're just going to play search. There's no need, like, tapping out a Teferi, having them sabotage it. 
And then if they hit another land, be able to go to Fairy plus Negate. I'm just going to let that go. The o I think the only way that we lose this game is like two tapping too low for Teferi. Or then like wrathing our Chromium. Yeah. So the invokes are good. So we see they have Ixalan's Binding and Seal Away still in. Losing obviously. <laughs> How's it going, Har Harrison? We're gonna cut these on. Well, I guess these are still decent. On the oh, I guess they're just expensive. I just don't want to get wrecked by history Vanalia. And only having one negate makes me a little nervous. For seven a.m. flight, that's not bad. That'll get you there nice and early. It's like the Vona or the Rituals. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna keep the Vona in. Like we're just gonna. We we've we've got one, two, three, four, five, six answers to um to history on the draw. <clears throat> it's not great, but it's also not the end of the world. All right, well, we got one of our answers. And we've got the Stone Cold winner right here. Okay, it's a good draw. I like how this deck list is configured. Like I've only played I've only played like three or four matches with this, but it, it already feels like the deck is well built. Like it fits well with together. I feel like whoever put it together like didn't just mash together a bunch of cards they thought about what their plan was. I might syncopate a chemist's insight for my opponent. Okay. They did not give me the option. My opponent would like to counterspell my draw spell. I think that's okay. Okay. I just want to keep playing untapped lands. We want our field. Probably just don't want this Vraska's Contempt. Yes, Contempt seems like the worst card. I'm going to get Lyra in here. I can feel it. Dawn of Hope. That's okay. You want to try to upkeep it. Or do it right now. Now we only have one counter spell for Teferi, but they need land, they need untap land plus um they need untap land 
uh, plus to fairy plus counter spell for that to be a thing. That Argles is nice. And now it's like we can just sit, play Chromium, draw cards if they give us something to counter. Some bait for two. We just play Arbles, Watery Grave tapped. Oh uh, no, I would play Drowned Catacombs. I'm trying to think of how to not lose. Like, is there a way that I get my Chromium in Like, is there a way that like holding up for this Chromium and not like like setting up and trying to keep pressing my advantage hurts me? And I think that there's a chance that that happens. Like, I mean, just play Bloodfast, play an Untapped Land, have Negate Contempt. Or chemistry's insight. And like the chromium is gonna come eventually. I just don't really want to force it. So we can draw like four cards here. And just keep hitting land drops. Jeez. So you want to discard three cards? What do you want to do, Led? I guess this is a way that I get punished from kind of slow playing this. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fairy plus negate. Let's just take to fairy. They get Nezahal back. And I'm actually just going to take a shot. One, two, three, four, five, six, four. We just have eight lands. If we have one more land, I would wait, but just in case they did hit a Teferi. I'm just going to like get whacked here for eight. Flashes in end of turn. And then probably just look to trade off with this Nezahal. I feel like with so many insights in my graveyard and these two counter spells and the blood fast, like I'm doing okay. So we know they have negate. To actually just tuck them as a hall. This probably was stupid. This was definitely probably dumb because if I start a counter fight it's with Neza Hall in play. Yeah, I don't think that was a good play from me. So I could tuck it and then wait.
could also draw cards and threaten trade. The problem is if he targets it. They don't have anything that targets it, though. I guess Ixalan's binding. One, two, three, four, five. But we can counter that. I'm actually going to plus. Play a land. And then just look to trade off the chromium for the dinosaur. And then just like have a Teferi when the dust settles. They just scooped it up. Okay. So yeah, I think I think maybe I should have been a little more aggressive with my chromium because of this Nezahal. It's tough to say. But I was, I was just trying to eliminate like any way of me losing. And I think the only way that I lose is if I, you know, put myself into put myself too far into what's going on. Or like over not overextend, but like force the chromium. And at that point we're just so far ahead, just keep ahead. Just keep ahead. So you're playing Blue Moon this weekend, Harry? We got two removal spells and some ugly mana on the play. But we're going to keep it. I guess if we go tap land into this, or tap land into this, our land's coming to play untapped. So we'll just leave with the chapel and sequence well. All right. I think I'm going to kill this. Like, I don't know if that's greedy or not. I haven't quite played this matchup enough. But if it is like mono green beats, I think just slowing them down is pretty important. All right, that's a good draw. Looking for a ritual set here. You don't want either of these. Put into the graveyard, put into the graveyard. Jeez. Pell collector. So we have three. That's seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh no, I played the wrong land. All right, we'll have counter spell up. I keep mis doing that. I keep playing the wrong land here after I talked about how the island lets me sequence all of these. I'm just going to counter this. Like We're just going to use our mana. Yep, so this is 3, 6, 8. So this is three, six, eight, ten, eleven, three, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I guess we just do this. So I can't pump this thing yet. Yield until next end step. There's no hide ferrex. So now it's pretty much oh, it's just dead. Like that that thing just kills me. Because contempt this. Yeah, we're just dead. That was tough. We were on the play too and still gonna run over like that. That just did not feel great. So what are they sideboarding against us? Probably not really a lot of artifacts and enchantments. Um Probably these fungal infections are pretty decent. 
Moment of Craving is good. Ritual Soot's good. These Sinister Sabotages don't seem that great. All the, the three mana counter spells just seem kind of clunky, especially how much removal we're bringing in. Probably just don't need the chromium. Chromium's just slow. Might board into like a little bit of different stuff when we, after sideboard, like I could see cutting a chemistry's insight, playing an Argyle's Bloodfast, but like I don't know how cheap our interact. Our interaction's pretty cheap. I do really like bloodfasting people when you make your deck this lean. I wonder if we can get away with not having all four of these and have a bloodfast. I'm just going to try this. This might not be right, but it might just, like, we have so much early interaction that it might be worth just playing bloodfast, like killing something, drawing, killing, drawing, killing, drawing, killing, drawing. I don't know if it's right to do or not, but we're going to try it. I'd be willing to bet it's very it's not good on the draw. So we're gonna definitely gonna sideboard it out on the draw. But I kinda just want a couple things to draw cards and then just pure removal spells. Almost dropped a glass. I would like to play first. And this is just a mulligan. Like just can't keep no interaction, notion rain. This isn't that great, but at least it's got some counter spells to fend off their first few plays. We don't want to see a land, like anything but a land of elf on one. So hopefully I don't have a one drop. <clears throat> they kept seven. Put this on the bottom. Shaper Sanctuary. I'll put that on the bottom. It's a good card. That's going to make things pretty awkward. Alright, so that's going to get us our planes. Then we got double black, blue, and white. This is just like nothing from our opponent. We must just get a really poor hand with Shaper Sanctuary. Which here, we're just going to counter anything. Done. Then really hope we hit a land here. We hit a land, we're going to untap with Teferi, have a counter spell up, and then tuck this, probably. That sucks. We're probably we're like somewhat in the same spot though. Kind of just want to essence scatter this because I would like to keep my syncopate up for like a Vivian read. Yeah. There's T Dog. I guess I should have syncopated that. Because now I'm worried about like a Galta. And they've already got like Vivian, like with the Land Worlds, they make a play and they've got Vivian covered. They're kind of incentivized to attack Teferi because if they play Vivian. If they don't attack the fairy, then I can tuck something and they can't kill it. Yep, Branch Walker's good. Duress. We'll keep Duress on top. Bind there. Could just counter this to save our Teferi a point, but that doesn't matter. 
Yep, Primer's good. I guess I should have used the syncopate. They have a duress coming. So I could tuck. Problem is if they go tuck and they, they're gonna kill it next turn. Then they're gonna duress the other one. We just need cards. Final Faction is actually not bad. What if I go one, two, hit this, fungal infection, this? It can't be blocked by black creatures, though. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, untap, insight plus fungal infection. Yeah, I actually probably should just do this. No, that doesn't make sense because it just untaps two lands. We're in a tough spot. This Vine Mare is not good for the home team. We just can't kill this thing. We have to tuck it with Teferi. I could just draw two cards. Yeah, I might as well just draw two cards. Can't like a fade afford to use them lose the mana. <clears throat> They're probably gonna take Teferi and then attack Teferi, and I'll be able to branch walker, like fungal infection the branch walker, and then block it. But I still get two for one out of that, which sucks. If they just attack, like if they see around our play and just attack with Vine Mare, then um, I'll just Chemistry's Insight. Green matchup is not looking as good as I thought it was going to be. This card's the problem. For any black deck in standard, like Vine Mare is just gross. I've got to think of a way to handle that thing. Because <clears throat> that's just a tough, that's just like a tough one to. Just go for him. Took my fungal infection. Okay. Which is a solid play from our opponent. Which likely means I'm just going to like not do anything from this attack and just have them draw cards. And just draw cards. Five. Yeah, we're just going to take this hit. End of turn. Ditch our drowned catacombs. And then chemistry's in sight again. We should hit like a ritual suit set really bad. Should have done that before combat. I missed that on a point. Or did they? No, it does it to itself, right? No, yeah, it's hit itself. Okay. I really just can't afford to. Like, playing Teferi and ticking up is so bad. So, I've got to go, like, Contempt something. They are going to draw a card here. We go to seven. All right, Brit. Okay. God. I 
So I've got two Teferis left in my deck. I'm going to go Teferi tick up. And then be able to syncopate something. But like, gotta, I, but like I'm just dead if I do that. But if I just tuck this Vine Mare, I'm likely dead as well. But I think that's probably my best shot to win. Oh, the Vine Mare is hexproof. Oh my gosh, I keep forgetting it's just hexproof from black. Like the knights are. So I could tuck this. If I draw a card, what am I even drawing to? I just can't I can't deal with this vine mare. Yeah, we're just we're just dead because I can't I can't beat the vine mare. This deck definitely needs an answer to vine mare in it. I don't think that there's one besides the eldest reborn in the 75. So maybe it needs like how's it going, Teddy? Maybe it needs like a dream eater, because like this card is just unbeatable and you can think about like maybe holding up being cognizant of it with your counter spells but that deck just puts on a lot of pressure <clears throat> yeah I just took it from a 5-0 list Teddy I mean, Vona's hunger. You weren't you weren't chatting about this thing here. Vona's hunger. Send you to each opponent sacrifice a creature to the same person. Send the opponent sacrifice half their creatures. It's hard to kill that deck with a bunch of edicts. Sand is not great. We have a search and a couple of counter spells. And we have a couple, like Disdainful Stroke and Syncopate are good counter spells to have on the draw. We definitely just not, not need to get blown out here, though. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna jam. Hmm. Want to hit our land drops? What are they shocked for? Oh, it must be sinister sabotage. And now we just wait, because like we will gladly play the waiting game. With a search for his Kanta going. No, we just want to hit our land drops. Then we can insight into a Teferi if they choose to counter it. And if they choose to not counter it, we just get further and further ahead. Okay. Yes, we don't need the ritual. Probably ditch our island flashback chemistry's insight on their turn. The end of their turn here. Yeah, you got it, sir. I wonder if playing Thought Eraser in the sideboard is right if you're worried about... But bringing in Thought Eraser against the Mono Green Gek. Uh, let's ditch that. We're going to see plenty of cards. We don't mind discarding this. I guess it's just greedy to do that. I shouldn't be. I should have I just drawn another land. Because like hitting land drops is how we're going to win.
Yeah, that was just that was just dumb of me to do. I could have just ditched this cast down. Yeah, I should have just taken the land. Put Notion Way in your graveyard. So we draw two cards. One, two, three, four. What are we ditching? We're ditching cast down. We're hopefully hitting a land drop. This will be card eight. Nah, I think we're just going to take this. Let's hit land drops. Yeah, it was so stupid of me to ditch that land. Put into your graveyard. Put on top. And we'll just ditch both of our cast downs. Now our search flips. I guess one cast down. Eight. So we can go to Fairy plus Counterspell next turn. We should lock it up. Which ones you got? So you can pay this, and then we have... Um, our own Sinister Sabotage up. Keep them out. Yep. Those are two good decks. Two good decks, especially if you can handle them. Which, if you played Legacy as much as it seems like you have, you probably should be able to handle those, Teddy. Alright, so we're playing against a blue-red control deck of sorts. Probably, like, Duresses will be good. I'm assuming they're going to have, like, um, like the Drake and Niv-Mizzet, so this is probably good at grinding. Then, like, Negate and Stroke are probably okay. Stroke might not be super good because it only hits, like, Crackling Drake. Moment of Craving is not that great. Um, Ritual of Soot is even worse. I don't think we want a blood fast. We can go like this. Cut one more of these. I want to play two Vonas. I've been impressed with this card. We're gonna play. Uh, did uh, did Dalloway and Lawrence? They find a third. They find a standard player. I saw him tweeting about it. Yep, we'll keep this. It's not great, but no, it just got great. Yeah, I saw Brandon tweet about it. Yeah, we would probably just get rid of this. We could just get rid of this chemistry's insight. As kind of mopey as that feels, it's going to prevent them from getting ahead. Yeah, let's just do this. Like, the other cards don't do anything. Like, let's just slow them down. How many of these did we board out? We should have board out a couple of them. Did you hit in a gate? Did you hit it? No. Okay. We did board out one. I guess they have Crackling Drake also. I don't even think we want this negate. I think we want ways to deal with this thing. So let's just get rid of this. We'll play the island because it's just easier on our mana base. Okay, counter spell. So they've got Niv Mizzet. They put a Niv Mizzet in their graveyard.
Bona does not match up very well against this thing, but it's a, it's a way to deal with it on the board. So I think we're just going to keep it. This is going to get probably an island. Because we just pay seven, mark this thing. So how much is the beacon bolt? The beacon bolt doesn't get it yet. But if they put one more thing into the graveyard, it will. But it's a sorcery, so it delays their nimbus in another turn. No. But we're not going to jam this to fairy. We're definitely going to play the Vona because it's just going to be more difficult for them to answer the Vona. Or they're going to have to do it on, commit it to it on their turn that we can play our Teferi. Yeah, I just saw Brandon tweet about it. He posted on about Facebook too. I do wish I was going. I really like playing Standard. I've been struggling finding a decent deck, but I've liked playing it. Okay, so they're sabotaging. They keep the card on top, so it's probably a land. Or it's a Drake, okay. Sulfur Falls. They, they visit Beacon Bolts. Yeah, so let's just play Teferi. Plus... Heldest Reborn, that is nice. Get these. Take this out. And we edict the Niv Mizzet if, it, if they play it. Yeah, we don't want that. We will flip this. All right, that's not bad. I should have cast the Contempt first. Now I could get in a little bit of trouble here. I guess we're going to see if we can bait something out with this. All right, put in your grave. I put another Teferi on top just in case we lose this one. Hope this isn't like a negate. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that that was not good. I should have tucked it. Wow, they're gonna insight. Oh, okay. That's okay, because now we can play a new Teferi, tuck this, and then eat it the Niv Mizzet. Oh, that was a nice draw, so. Syncopate. So they slammed him, is it? We Eldest Reborn them. Oh, this is gas. No, it's a Beacon Bolt, right? No, they hit a counter spell. So you wait for one. Okay, this is going to kill my Teferi. Okay, so we'll pay for this. Punish for not using my Teferi. I thought their last card was Beacon Bolt, which sucks. Just lost the card there because it was just zoned out. You know, the counter spell bud doesn't look like it. 
just tuck this, just buy us some time. Nope, turn off auto yields. Shoot, I'm gonna play my land. A little froggy with the clicking today. All right. We have a planeswalker off, but we're gonna get into Mizzet back here with this Elder Sworn. Oh man, and our Teferi plus isn't on this thing. That's awesome. Um, let me play land. <clears throat> now we can deal with the Drake. with Vona, attack this, attack them, and we can surge with Teferi up. So it's gonna be tough. All right, so get that off the board, which is good. I guess I should have gotten the Crackling Drake. I was just too excited about the Nimizit. Beacon Bolt that, I guess I should, because we can hit a Negate here. Oh, Brass's Contempt is decent as well. This game is actually really interesting. I feel like I should be winning this game. Probably not playing it super well. There are probably a couple of things that I could be doing better. I just have a feeling that I'm not playing this game that well. One, two, three. Right, let's get sabotage. Could get an insight, but we definitely like are down a card or two because we didn't um because we didn't uh use my Teferi first before using the Nimes. I just doing a little just some sequencing. Errors from the home team. What do I got? I've got one more Teferi left in the deck and a whatever it is that can help me win the game. I don't think I want to tap out here because they still have Lightning Strike in their deck. I don't want to get my Teferi Lightning Struck. Let's do this first. Then we can deal with this raw. Gate. What are you protecting? If they're going to negate this, it's got to be worth it. Um, I'm just going to put this in the graveyard. Yeah, we don't need cards. I don't, really just don't want to give them the surveil. As odd as that sounds. Well, what am I getting here? Probably like the blue-red draw spell. That's got to be like what we're worried about. That's got to be what they're protecting so much here. The blue-red draw spell would make sense. Banefire. That's another good one. Let's cancel, play land, and pass. Yeah, that Bane Fire was a good one to hit. Yep, Bane Fire my Teferi.
So I'm actually going to draw two cards because an easy way to win here, a good way to win here is to hit our um, Chromium. Which, did I sideboard that out? No, I did not. So we know they have a syncopate in one other card. So. So I just take this disdainful stroke. This Ral ultimate's on eight, so does this, and we're winning the race. So my opponent has a lot of ways to deal with Teferi. So I kind of just want to tuck this to at least get this off the battlefield. Yeah, I think I'm just going to tuck this thing. I'm going to feel dumb if they lightning strike my um, Teferi, but I think by tucking it, it just puts us ahead enough here. Like if they hit an Mizzet, and like that's worst case scenario. Yeah, we we'll let that go because that's going to get them back the... Uh, So they have the Rao again. Draw a card. Get another counter spell. I should have grabbed, that was stupid. I should have grabbed the, um, I should have grabbed the Braska's Contempt because of niv -Mizzet. Like they've only, Played one, two. Uh, Glacial Fortress put into your graveyard. Put into your graveyard. I don't think I'm going to activate as Kanta. Because we're just going to end up... So we can't deck ourselves with Teferi, but I would like to at least have an emblem set up. Before I do that. I was worried that, like, this Teferi. Okay, so there's our way to win. I probably should be as canting now because we hit the Chromium. <clears throat> The Chrome Dead is the finisher. My opponent just is like, okay, someone is heading up. Looks like we're heading into the last match of this league. They're going for the 4 1. I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out today, you guys. It's been a fun stream having you all here watching. Uh, my name is Dylan Hubby. I'm a part of the Carter Herder Network. If you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. If you're on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button. Um, just the easiest way to share my contact. If you need magic online needs, check out Card Hoarder. They're linked below. And if you have magic signal, need, signal needs, you check out Gamer Crate. That's where I learned to play magic. And their Crystal Commerce is linked below. Let's go for the big old 4 1. Cards I've liked so far. I think this deck needs more, like one more negate. 
and I'm not exactly sure where it is. This fourth ritual of soot, soot seems a little loose. Let's go back to the deck builder. Oh, Moto's freaking out. So, like, this ritual seems a little loose. I think I want something like another negate. Then we got a search gatherer for a way to deal with Vine Mare. And then this, they'll likely just play this deck in a PTQ this weekend. So I do like it. But we definitely had like a real big hole in our, like Vine Mare just felt like awful. I would like to play first. Yeah, I'm a killer. This guy's a grinder. Uh, we're going to keep this hand because we're on the play. And we can go syncopate into sabotage. But we're not going to keep it. Like it, Besides that, it's not very good. We wouldn't keep this on the draw. If we had a black land, it's probably okay. Yama Killer tends to play aggressive decks. All right, no play on one is always great for a hand like this. There's our black mana. I do like this deck a lot. I have a good time playing it. All right, the ritual set should be good as well here. I think we're just got a moment of craving this. I don't think that it deserves um, a counter spell. Because, like, yes, we get two for one, but they're just hitting a land. Could have left around for the ritual, but we can't cast it. And then leaving, just leaving cards around to get ritual of sitted, or like, you know, to try to catch up, just isn't a good way to win. All right, so let's let's just syncopate this while we can. Syncopate for two. Play that tapped. So now we can be a little more liberal with letting creatures resolve because we did hit the double black. Can't let that one resolve though. One, two, three, four. Let's just do this to be able to cover another another big play, like an Eldest Reborn or a creature from our opponent. We don't need a race to this chromium. Especially like with the Eldest Reborn being such a good answer to it. Got a draw spell would be sick here. All right, now we're just going to wait. 
We could have fired that off to get another, um, to just hit our land drop for this turn, which I probably should have done. I should have just main phased it. All right, that's good. This gets back to Vivian. They bend land war elves and drew a land. So we're just gonna like let this damage come through because we don't want to like uh, block and then um, and then have them chupacabra us. Or them just hit this. Then next turn we can just get two things off the board, which is progress. Come in and roll into human. So it still becomes, it's still a seven drop. I just want to wonder if I should ritual sit first, and I probably should. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can ritual plus insight, but that's not really great. Teferi tick down. I can Teferi tick up, but then they just hit this. I think it's probably just best to ritual and hold my land. Because we're not blocking this. Because if we want to hold this back to block, they can just go have this target a um okay so there's troops I guess we didn't even have to ritual because it couldn't be blocked. Fine broker, geez. The grind is real. They're gonna get back a Jade Light Ranger. Alright, well, let's get this Vivian off the board. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can't really play Teferi on a stable board at the moment, so we're gonna take a good shot of damage. Take three, six, eight, go to five. They play a Jade Light. We then bounce. We actually do have to hit something. Choops. Yeah, we just kind of got grounded in the dust here a little bit. Just got hit by the old fine broker loop. And like the. The fact that the uh, 
Ritual of Soot isn't very good against this deck. Is is also not great for us. Play to fairy. So we're just gonna go to fairy. Tick up. We could hit contempt this. Hit this. We gain. Jeez. I thought we were ahead that game, but that Vivian was really good. Like when we hit counterspell, counterspell, counterspell all the way up the chain, I thought we were good. But turns out we weren't. I kind of want to board in all of these. Board in like negate. Disdainful stroke. Get rid. I don't think these rituals are actually that good. My like creature removal doesn't seem great either. Like it kills Fine Broker, but I think the best way to beat Fine Broker is to just not let it resolve and fight it on the stack. So maybe we don't want these duresses. Though so they're going to have cards like. I don't know, they're going to have ca good cards to bring in. So let's see what this looks like. I've cut one card. I wonder if the duresses are better than the moment of cravings. Maybe the bloodfast, but the bloodfast in conjunction with Vona is nice. We're going to decide we're much differently on the draw, I think. But we're going to go like this. The rituals just don't. All of his cards that matter are for are four CMC or higher. I would like to play first. Yeah, I think it's pretty solid. We have search into interaction. If our search gets trophied, then we at least get to ramp into our counter spells. And we can get the duress on one. That's big. He's gonna take the search for his canta for sure. I guess I should have played this isolated chapel because there's likely not anything on two that we're gonna to want to counter. I guess we hit an explore creature. We might hit like opponent might get Jade Light Ranger here. Just another dress. Should take a counter spell, man. All right, well, I mean, Teferi's the card that is going to pull us out of this. We're going to snap a counterspell off on anything because we just want to hit land drops. Yep, that one's good. I guess I should have disdainful stroked for this reason. Argles is good. Land. And we have Vraska's. We have Stroke up for a big play, and we have Contempt next turn. While we're drawing like four cards a turn, or while they're drawing two cards a turn, they are too. They have to invest a little bit of mana into it. Okay.
I'll just keep our Teferi alive. The land there would have been sweet, so we could go Contempt, and then also Contempt, they land like a Varaska here. Still deal with the Varaska, but it's just annoying. This game's been pretty sick. We've all just been throwing haymakers back and forth at each other. Yep. Fine Broker's pretty big. Fine Broker's probably going to get back. Just branch just a two drop. Yep. Draw a Swamp. It's going to be good with their Mudfest. Want both of those, just just more interaction. That notion ring was a good draw, it's just a clean two for one. We have another good two for one in here. There's the big Vraska. One, two, three, four. Ah, we just can't quite. We can get rid of the Vraska, but we can't go Vraska plus. So maybe we just play Vona plus Negate. And then try to block. Deal with this Vraska next turn. That's probably the play. That land was untapped. We'd be in such a good spot. I guess they can just go down with this. Kill my Vona. Yeah, it was stupid. Now we just lost Vona. Yeah, I saw, I screwed that up so bad. Yep, should have just hit this branch walker. Yeah, that wasn't good. Just got playing fast and loose. Should have just I guess no, should have just dealt with this or this. Jade by is good. This is where the stupid ritual of soot looks great. Probably just disdainful stroke this. Yeah, I definitely I definitely muff this up. Which is gonna end up costing us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we gotta hit a land. I think hitting land is pretty. They have two cards though. Can we have a counter spell? We can't. We can counter a planeswalker. We can't counter a creature. From just one spelling though, it's not good. I want to be able to go Vona plus negate. So I think we're just gonna try to hit a land here. We're far enough behind where we kind of have to go for it. Yeah, we did hit a land. So let's deal with this. And now at least we play like a good something that's gonna add a lot to the battlefield. Wow, they just must have nothing. Probably just a bunch of assassins trophies. Wow, they just drew Jesus. It's gotta be just nothing but assassins trophies. 
They're going to get a million life too with this blood fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, untap. Five mana. Now we gotta play Vona. It's a very odd play from them to just like they just not hit like anything. Fight this on the stack. Okay, that gets trophied, which kind of sucks. Oh, I blood fast. All right, let's. Start by inciting. See, and now we're too far because of the way we sideboarded. Now we're too far behind. Maybe we just don't have a good catch up card. It's like not having a rat is like is pretty rough. But I also cut a lot of my removal. I'm not sure how to sideboard in this matchup. Like maybe I should just like you know, if anything's gonna win us this game, it's a Teferi probably. Yeah, my opponent's deck is definitely doing some stuff. Like, I don't really know how to sideboard against it, which is the problem. Because I ended up cutting a lot of my removal to fight on the stack. And, like, now I'm screwed. So maybe I should have just kept in my board wipes. So we're dead on the board here, but I think we have to hit something here. The Contempt. Elders were born, they sacked this. 247. Are they playing more value based? No, they're, yeah, they're, they're a value based deck. The graveyard deck's just horrible, I think. I just don't know how to sideboard against this deck. Like, you just went like way over the top of me. So let's open up my pity chest here and let's. Think about the issues that we had in this league. Let me turn off my recording here.